Sisawath of Cambodia. Sisawath, Khmer, Sisavath, Sisot, September 7, 1840 to August 9, 1927, was king of Cambodia from April 27, 1904 to his death in 1927. He was the son of King Ong Duong and half-brother of Prince Si Votha and King Noradong. He is the progenitor of the House of Sisawath. Life Sisawath was given the birth name of Ong Sar. When he was born, Cambodia was under joint Siamese and Vietnamese rule. The royal family lived in Battambang then under Siamese hegemony. Like his brother King Noradam, Sisawath was educated in the Siamese capital of Bangkok. He did not return to his native Cambodia until 1860, when his father and the ruling monarch, Ong Duong, died. He hastily returned to Odong, the royal capital of Cambodia, to prevent his half-brother, Prince Si Votha from seizing the throne. He succeeded, and his other half-brother, Noradam, became king. Although Noradam was more compliant, rebellion broke out in Cambodia, and soon the French, seeking control of Southeast Asia, forced Noradam to comply with a French protectorate over Cambodia. The French thus drove out the Thai and the Vietnamese officials, and Cambodia became a French protectorate. Sisawath was enraged, and he exiled himself to Saigon in Vietnam in 1864, the other former overlord of Cambodia, in a show of defiance. The French, who also had control of Saigon, persuaded Sisawath to remain there under French protection, as his life was in danger by the rebels in Cambodia. In reality, the French used Sisawath as a tool to threaten Noradam. If Noradam was not following France's policies of reform, they could threaten Noradam with Sisawath and say that they would depose Noradam and replace him with Sisawath if he did not comply. In 1867, when Cambodia was in open rebellion against French rule, King Noradam pleaded Sisawath to return to Cambodia to quell the uprising. Sisawath returned from Vietnam to Odong and helped quell the uprising. In 1884, when the French took full control over Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, and also defeated Siam in a war in 1893, Cambodia became an open French colony, and the capital was moved from Odong to Phnom Penh. Moving the royal court to Phnom Penh, Sisawath gave his full support to the French colonial regime. Noradam thus was compelled to name Sisawath his future successor. Reign In 1904, when Noradam died, Sisawath was crowned as King of Cambodia, a crown that would have gone to one of Noradam's sons, Prince Eucanther, were it not for the latter having a falling out with the French. During his reign, Sisawath continued Noradam's role in government, where he was well rewarded by the French for his cooperation, they built him a new palace, gave him a steam-powered yacht, and supplied him with a complimentary ration of 250 pounds of high-grade opium per year. In 1927, he died in Phnom Penh and was given the posthumous title of Priya Karuna Priya Sisawath Priya Richianukit, Khmer. He was succeeded by his son and crown prince, Prince Sisawath Manavong. Time of his death, he was the world's oldest monarch. Crowning On April 24, 1904, the day King Noradam died, the Royal Crown Council met, gathering senior ministers and personalities of the kingdom, in order to elect the new sovereign. The Crown Council elected Sandak Aparich Priya Sisawath, the viceroy, as successor to his elder stepbrother. He was crowned as Priya Bat Sandak Priya Sisawath Chamchakrapong. Haririch Barmanthar Fovane Krekiofa Sulale Priya Chow Krong Kampachia Thipade, Khmer. Reign 